Simply put, progress requires two steps, identifying the problem and solution. However, in practice, it's not easy. Many of us have experienced slow progress despite taking numerous tutorials, simply because we failed to pinpoint the real problem. I have been stagnating for three months and I can finally create something. In this video, I'll share five problems that took me a long time to realize, hope these can help you. Drawing with a system. I can't really call myself a self-taught artist. I've read many books and taken courses. Books typically present content within a structured system, while tutorials by different artists on YouTube, even on the same topic, offer varied approaches. Many videos suggest using tertiary colors, but mine suggests limiting to 180 degrees. This might be overwhelming for beginners. When feeling confused, stick to one method. I restricted colors to 180 degrees to create harmony in my paintings. Once I became familiar with this method, I could expand my color range, learn how other artists harmonize contrasting colors. If you have $1,000 to invest, you might be willing to take a risk. However, if you're investing $1 million, you need a strategy to make a reasonable decision. The correctness of this system doesn't matter. You'll always learn something new and refine it. Whenever I learn something new and adjust my model, my drawings become worse. For example, in this practice, if I simply copy a photo, it looks okay. But when I try to draw with perspective, using a modeling approach, it takes more time and the result isn't as good as before. However, I'm actually making progress. Even if you feel stuck, as long as you're on this path, you're making progress. Knowledge Hierarchy Anatomy is extremely difficult and requires deep understanding on perspective. Even though many tutorials simplify the human body into boxes, those boxes have been giving me so much trouble, especially from different angles. Art is a science, with hierarchical knowledge. Lack of knowledge at one level hinders progress at the next. Without a foundation in perspective, learning anatomy is like trying to learn calculus without knowing basic arithmetic. It's essential to realize what knowledge you lack and choose challenges suitable for your level. The first step in learning to draw is accuracy training, which many might not consider important, but it truly is. Let me explain why. When drawing a simple rectangle, we don't need any method. We can observe and draw accurately. However, when it comes to complex forms, we need a strategy to achieve accuracy. There are countless methods, but the basic principle is simplification which helps us understand more easily. We're not just training accuracy, we're developing a mindset to simplify complex forms. This is also the first step in using shapes to understand objects and learning composition. I've created a training session on practicing accuracy. If you're interested, check it out. Copy is rehearsal. The purpose of copying is to learn something from it and apply it to our own work. Copying is like a rehearsal for creation. A common mistake is starting with precision and detail from the beginning, which doesn't facilitate learning, because our own process of drawing is not like that. Similarly, for learning color, starting with precise colors is challenging due to our tendency to misjudge them. This color appears warm, but it's actually gray. When copying colors, it's helpful to first fill the entire canvas with all the colors and then make adjustments. This minimizes visual errors as much as possible. The main process involves starting from large color blocks, simulating the blurry effect in the photo. I don't prefer this effect, so I use Photoshop filters to simplify the colors, reducing distractions and making it easier to understand. Perspective and Spatial Awareness Perspective isn't just drawing boxes, it's about spatial awareness. Each line drawn should reflect its position in space. A fold represents a particular structure. Understanding this structure helps in understanding how to draw shadows. I believe many people, like me, have spent more time on color and composition than on perspective. So, just improving a little in perspective can lead to significant progress. There are some shortcuts. By knowing basic calculation methods, you can place figures into scenes, while scenes can be created directly using Blender. Building simple scenes with Blender requires very little learning time. Combining these two methods allows you to create scenes with minimal time and effort. Obsession with style. The issues mentioned above are technical ones, and with enough practice, most people can be aware of them. However, I believe many overlook the hindrance to their progress caused by their artist ego. Since I was 14, I aspired to be a writer. I read a lot and wrote a lot, yet I still failed. It wasn't because I wasn't smart enough to learn the craft. Rather, 
I had a mindset that convinced me I already possessed a unique style, and all I needed was to find the right audience who would understand me. But the truth is, I was suck. My artist ego prevented me from acquiring valuable knowledge. To be honest, artists aren't chasing after styles. Rather, they adhere to predefined templates in their artwork. For example, the body types of anime girls conform to certain standards, while the human body tends toward realism and facial features vary under different trends. Style, therefore, is something that slightly deviates from these trends. The most important rule of content creation is that nobody cares about my thoughts unless they benefit others. Thank you for watching.